everything Rap news is back through again Packing a fact-filled truth-laden juice bulletin Today we cross to Russia Where the world's eyes have duly been fixed Wondering who will win a confusing, brutal, crucial and ruthless struggle Betwixt sovereign states The Winter Olympics And in the Olympic Village we have a live report from Ivan Sakamanov To bring us up to the minute Ivan Sakamanov in Sochi. So the games have just finished? Duh, but sense of unity and Olympic spirit not, not diminished. diminished. This event has been great success. No discontent, no boycott, no complaints and no dogs. It's the best. Many strong straight athletes pit their strength in manly figure skating double luge and we kept our ring clenched. Sorry to interrupt Ivan, but there's breaking news. I hear that Russian troops are occupying the Ukrainian province of Crimea. However it might appear, this is not to strike fear. This is a, the next fun sport event we organize here. What do you mean? Well, now that Sochi fun time has finished, we launch whole new competition. The Paralympics? No, more thrilling. The Paramilitary Tournament. I present and our hero team captain, Vladimir Putin. Привет, dear friend. It is great honor for me to open officially paramilitary games in Sevastopol today. We have many very nice events to compete in. For example, patriotic flag waving. Russia winning. Multiple naval base siege. First place, Russian team. Sniper contest in Maidan Square, Kiev. That prize went to George Soros and NATO, I believe. Next match. Which state got most nuclear weapons up its sleeve? Russia have many nukes. Ukraine, zero. Wait, someone's calling in from Kiev. It's Yulia Timoshenko. I wish to make official complaint against this rigged game, the Kremlin break rules. What? Vlad, let me explain. Ukraine agreed to give up its nuclear weapons on condition that our borders are respected. This sets a clear precedent which will start nuclear arms race again. Ha! That race never ended. Duh. And Russia way ahead. Mr. Putin, it's time for main event. Which team has most access? Access to gas fields and pipelines in Ukraine. This is a tight race. Still going on. We have a close tie between Team Exxon and Team Gazprom. You invaded Ukraine. Invited, Robert. We invite. Now we have a referendum to let Crimean people decide. You had to sue Russia. Sorry, I don't quite. You cannot understand Russia with your mind. Uh, okay. Thank you, Ivan and Vladimir Putin. Your coverage of these events seems balanced, fair and neutral. Now let's move to the Western media for its take on this theme. Stand by as we tune into a dangerous frequency, mainstream TV. This is the news. I'm Brian Washington. You're on MSMBS. In the primetime slot for some uncompromising hard talk. Tonight's headlines, huge plane crash, three Americans die. And in the rest of the world, hey Rasputin, Russia invades Ukraine and threatens to start shooting. To explain the situation that's gotten very tense, we speak with Secretary of State John Kerry next. John, welcome to Buckshot. Good to have you with me. Bucky, let's be clear. Russia's on the wrong side of history. I mean, sending in ground troops to invade another country? That's not fitting for a super power this century. Yeah, they didn't use missile strikes, drone attacks, or uranium shells, or shock and awe massacres. They haven't even killed any people. Amateurs. When we went into Iraq, we left a million fatalities, and Russia's gone in on a completely trumped up pretext. When you voted for Iraq to take the heat next, you had hard proof of WMD, and that Saddam had hidden them. And in Libya, we went in to protect civilians. We must defend the rule of war. I mean, of law. Well said. We'll be back for more after a message from our sponsor. Your view of the world, bought from you by Chevron. So, how will we liberate Ukraine's gas fields? I mean people. With sanctions, Bucky, we need to remind those Ruskies and Putin's ass that we'll exploit all resources at our disposal, including gas. Sadly, Russians are so brainwashed by propaganda. They lack free speech laws and media standards, and they don't have open news networks like ours. Sure, I bet they're pushing hard for war. Let's tune in for a sample. Get the camera started. Breaking the set live on RT, setting the record straight. This is Abby Martin. I roll with editorial control, and tonight I'm going to speak direct from my heart. Then what Russia did is wrong. Military force is never the better option. Who's this apparat chick using free speech on the Kremlin news? This is not in script we meant to use. Now I'm so confused. It's like the Cold War again. Load the nukes. Abby, this your president. Crimea humanitarian intervention is so good. I'm just telling it like I see it from my own view. Last I checked, that's what journalists were supposed to do. Is this sarcasm? It's having balls to show the truth. Maybe more reporters and channels can grow some too. 
Well, that's about all the time we have left for inspecting This latest war that's raging Not between military aggressors But between their respective mass media weapons Which paint conflict as games of good against evil When in fact both sides are often equally mistaken Amid this frenzy in the media One thing should remain clear Lack of thinking on our part Is the only true thing to fear So until next broadcast Be sure to be critical of every new source that appears Including, of course, this one right here